out before our next storm system arrives and that will bring a bigger severe threat with it. So Friday we have as an alert day because of the severe weather threat, maybe starting as early as 9 10 o'clock in the western counties and should be gone by 5 6 o'clock at the, the latest damaging wind. So that means all modes of severe weather will be possible. Damaging wind 60 miles an hour, maybe even a few tornadoes and some large hail too. our severe weather risk map. You can see we now have an enhanced risk area for areas south of I 20 along and east of uh, I 65 for again Friday. And so some scattered severe storms. Everybody is under a severe weather threat. So be thinking about your day Friday and and where you'll be and uh, where you can put your your plan of, uh, of safety or plan of action in place. Should you go under a warning on Friday? But it does look like the highest threat to see a tornado will be in that enhanced risk area. Let me show you the future cast. The storms will start to develop by a daybreak there and approach the Mississippi River. And then this will be a very quick moving system. So as we approach 9 to 11 in the morning, I think the storms will start to move into West Alabama and kind of a fairly organized line moving into the, uh, the western part of the state, probably before noon or close to it. So this system may or this uh, model may be just a little bit behind, but out ahead of that, if we see any supercells starting to develop, it's really these that will be most concerned with producing the, uh, the threat of not only a tornado, but maybe even a strong tornado as they move through some of our east and southeastern counties during the afternoon on Friday, and then those storms move out pretty quickly. So Friday, an alert day for the severe threat. We're in the 30s right now. Some spots are below freezing. We'll have some sunshine today. Still kind of chilly at lunchtime, but close to 50 degrees for this afternoon. Tomorrow will be warmer near 60. And then Friday's that alert day with the severe threat dry over the weekend. Temperatures will be a little bit cooler. And then we have the threat for some possible winter weather, a little bit of a mix, maybe freezing rain, sleet on Monday. That's far from a sure thing right now, but it's something that we'll watch closely. And then behind that, temperatures take a nosedive. So for Tuesday, especially Tuesday morning, there will be a tremendous amount of wind uh, and temperatures will be dropping. We could see some single digit wind chill values to start the day Tuesday. Sarah, Carla. All right, thanks, Steph. We'll do this morning. State lawmakers renewing their push to criminalize assistance.